when you're born, you get you don't get to decide how you look. But when you put on a costume, that is just a hundred percent you. That's your identity that you chose, and that's you. I would believe in the purest form, and that's what Halloween is for a lot of people. You know, finally to be who they want to be. But I'm over here thinking like, well, why can't Halloween be every single day then? <laughs> Yo, what up, everybody? You know, it's me, your boy, Alfredo Morales, a.k.a. Pasta the Clown. We're going we're gonna to learn a little bit today. We're going to love a little bit today. You know, going to let you get your lid on in, get you in on those uh, clown secrets you all been craving, you all been starving for, you all been uh, saving me before. I know, I know you, your mouth is watering. Hearing me right now, you need them facts, and I'm about to give it to you. What is a clown sona? Now, this whole thing about sonas started like back in the early days of the internet, uh, specifically message boards. People would need like a name to give themselves while they're talking to each other, and no one wants to use their real name, you know? Because like, why would you? That's that's fucking boring. So they would come up with new names, right? Though, and these new names would actually personify like things about themselves that they liked, you know, and a huge like collective of people really identified with like uh, furry cartoon animals right and those people are called furries and they came up with this concept called the fursona which is like an embodiment of their personality as a furry animal you know and that splintered off into subcategories so you don't you don't need to be a furry animal you could be a clown you know and that's where the name clown sona comes from now Clown sonas don't got much on against furries because um, furries invest a lot of money into their personalities. They would buy big ass suits. I just invest in makeup and that's it. So you know we're like we're like furries on a budget, right? And that's what a clown sona is. Well, pasta the clown is really just an excuse for me to dress up like a clown because I always wanted to do that. I just can't find a good reason to do it. And then I started doing uh, my webcomic series, which is about a clown. And I was thinking, oh, I could create this mascot character for it, you know? Who goes around on the streets, makes videos. I'm doing this little video campaign with Pasta the Clown. And he's out there on the streets just doing kind of like really creepy clown stuff. Don't you know you rock my world? Don't you ever leave me turbo child. Don't ever wonder where I am going. Oh boy, you feel that? You feel that shit? Mm. Fuck yeah. Yes! Yes! Shit. You're probably watching this thing and like, oh man, is this like a fucking creepy pasta or some shit? No, motherfucker. This is pasta the clown, bitch. And I'm here and I'm queer. Get used to it, bitch. No, I ain't. I like girls. Well, that's debatable. But anyway. But the joke is that it's. It's, he's just advertising a webcomic, you know? You know, I think everything is fucking beautiful, all right? Read Bongo Luna. But like, like, you ever seen some weird commercial that's just like really out there, but it's like a commercial just about soap? You know, he's just trying to get your attention. And that's what, that's what it's about, you know? That's, uh, that's, what, uh, that's what Pasta the Clown is about, you know? Also, because my real name is Alfredo, and I thought calling myself Pasta would be funny. Pura gorra de moda de temporada te vale 50 pesos. I think I think masks are a beautiful thing. I think masks are great cuz mask is like who we really are. Like we're wearing masks like all the time. All the time when we're like around people, when we're at our jobs, we're always wearing a mask because we got to wear that mask to like survive. Everyone wears them, you know, but it's not a mask that we chose to wear. It just over time 
it's been placed on us not by one person but just by every everybody and we do that to each other you know because we gotta wear these masks to survive and function right but when someone puts on a mask that they choose to wear that's when they truly are who they are because they chose to be that person because you only make the choices that are real to you you know you're not gonna make any fake choices because you know who you are and when you wear a mask when you wear the mask you want to wear you feel invincible you know because you're like it's like you have like armor on you know it's like you feel pretty like confident you know you can do whatever you want because i mean i remember the first time i wore like a mask like something for halloween i was like man i really oh man i really don't have limits do i you know like i could just do whatever i want right and that's who we really are that's who we really strive to be you know and like some people some people ain't about like having a mask or whatnot you know and like you know to those people like man they can suck on they can suck on this d dog they can suck on this d right here for those people it's very oh it's very liberating you know and that's that's who we really are you know that's that's the kind of people we want to be Ooh, boy Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah 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 All right, follow me at Cheesy Manfredo. That's my personal account. I draw artwork. I get that artwork right there. Follow uh, my webcomic at Bongwell Luna at Instagram. Got a link. Got a link to the comic in the bio. That's all. You know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah.